Hey coach, I'm so excited you found us on YouTube. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below, hit the bell up above. That will take care of everything you need. Also, make sure you go down below and check out teachheaps.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking for resources, if you're looking for a one-stop shop, if you're looking for everything that will make you a better basketball coach, if you can find it down below at teachheaps.com. Have a great day. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. How you doing, coach? Oh. How are you? I'm all right. I'm good. We're talking hoops. Um, before we jump in, let's talk about our Facebook group. Um, go over and check out uh, Coaching Youth Hoops um, on Facebook. It, it's growing. I don't know if it's quite the largest youth coaching, basketball coaching one, but it's getting there. It will but be. Definitely. I mean, in a short period of time since April, you kidding me? I know. It's, it's growing. Uh, growing. The questions are great. I think the questions yeah. are great. I mean, and that's the thing is you can go there to find, you know, a community, but you can also go there to find um, que questions answered, you know, um, or get your question answered. Your right? specific one. What did I, yes. what did I post? What did I post recently? I don't know if I posted on this one or another Facebook group, but I asked about like, what drill should you start practice with to build intensity? I might've put it on my, on the other one. Oh, I'm looking um, right now. That might have been on basketball coaches, that one. Yeah, that it wasn't one. In here, but that's a yeah. good one. I Yeah, I had that discussion yesterday. Uh, I did a coach's clinic, and mm -hmm. uh, it was fascinating because the coaches that coach boys, what they said, versus the coaches that coach girls and what they said. And, and these are female coaches coaching girls, by the way, too. So, um, And it was really – it was a short discussion, but it was really fascinating – and one coach said it, I, and I, I wish I would have gotten it. I'm like, dude, that is so good. Um, the way he said it was the difference between boys and girls is boys, they're just, they, they just need to go right away. They're not ready for practice. Girls come in ready, mentally more ready and prepared to listen and get ready for practice. So what we talked about is start the boys out, just get them in a drill hardcore running up and down the court doing something you know obviously basketball related and i just thought it was a really good discussion about how to start practice because it's really important oh it's very important it's very let's important. come back to that that's a good actually that's a really that's a good, good podcast podcast. we'll have we'll, we'll do that <laughs> all right so then talk about your website coach basketballpracticeplans.com yeah absolutely uh coaches there's no need for you to create your own practice plans if you're a youth coach just go there they're already done for you um, a whole season's worth of practice uh, you can build upon them and you know create your own if you like um, but they're ready to go from practice one all the way through the end I've planned it out they're all progressive so day one um, looks much different than day 24 the kids are going to grow um, in their skill level throughout the whole year you're going to have offense defense slobs blobs everything you need to have a successful season and it's only 30 dollars I mean, Mike drop. How much Mike time? Drop. Are, yeah, yeah. I mean, how much time are you going to spend googling, going to YouTube, looking for all those? Or is he going to waste more time? I already done the hard work for you. Yep, he has done the hard work, and they're awesome. It's not. It's not. A, I'm going to tell you from from. I don't use these because I don't coach youth hoops anymore, but um, I have for a long time. Uh, you, uh, it's not your generic go on there, you know, Excel spreadsheet it is much more than that. So go, I'm going to tell you, I'll give you a little bit of hint, hint. Cause I keep pimping them on this is get in now before prices go up. I'm just going to be honest. Like you better do it now. Like it's <laughs> price. I, keep, I know I keep telling him it's too cheap for all the work he's it's done. But cheap. Yeah. yeah. I had a coach that literally he called me after he downloaded it and he said, this is, unbelievable i did not expect it i thought it was just going to be a generic you know like pdf line. Kind of thing. You, got videos, yep. you have uh written instructions and it follows my five-step uh practice uh programming framework it's all laid out there for you i know it's awesome and then also go over and check out coaching youth hoops.com um i don't know if it'll be launched by the time you get this there's a waiting list to get on um so more to come Everything oh, and one more thing, uh, basketballcoachesclinic.com. Uh, I'm doing a month, I'm doing a weekly coaches clinic for youth coaches. Um, there's a different theme um, every uh, every week through the month of October. They're every Wednesday from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. 
in October, if you're listening to this in October of 2022, but we'll continue probably beyond that. You're going to he go, won't do uh, it from week. November to March. He won't be doing it from November to March. Now he's That's coaching good. his own team. <laughs> I'm going to fit one hour in. I got to help my youth coaches out there. All right, what's I'm on my uh, mission, Steve. You know what my I know, mission is? I know. Kids in 10 years, positively influenced through the, let's, through the let's sport hope. of basketball. Let's hope. Um, all right, so hey, what is your uh, – what's the topic this week? You know, I posted something in our face, uh, actually in your Facebook group, the Basketball Coaches uh, uh, Facebook group about can you coach toughness? And I got uh, almost 40 responses. Is So uh, the backstory is I coach, I coach varsity girls, as you know, Steve. Um, and we did, um, I had a, uh, we were working in power layups and the particular uh, young lady was not, we were using a pad. She was not being, she was avoiding the pad, like literally avoiding the pad, stopping short of the pad, wasn't hitting the pad. And I just asked her, I said, you know, the whole idea here is, you know, to do your power layup, hit the pad and go up. So we get an, you get an and one. And her response was, I'm not used to being physical. So uh, I thought, well, can that, she's a freshman. And I thought, is that coachable? So I posted to the, posted to the Facebook group, can you coach toughness? And I just wanted to hear what other coaches had to say is, can you coach it? Or is it just, you're just born with it? Is it a mindset you have, period? What's your thoughts before well, I tell well, you? First of all, first of all, what is toughness? Yeah, what is toughness? Yeah, now, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I'm defining it as taking contact, not avoiding it, uh, hustling after loose balls on the ground, right? Diving for loose balls, uh, uh, shutting someone down in defense, uh, taking your third you know, three big bolt steps back on off uh, an offense, transition to offense and transition to defense, like really hustling and getting after it. Okay. So I think this is, <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to get this in a, one podcast, but anyway, so toughness, I'm going to read you what it says. The, di the dictionary says on toughness, okay. yeah. the, the dictionary says the state of being strong enough to withstand adverse conditions or rough handling. So what you described was, um, more of the physical part i think toughness is as much non-physical it is physical that you know that at first what you're saying mental oh i'm is definitely saying mental, mental. yes yeah because you have to be mentally i mean you have to be able to handle adverse conditions you have four fouls there's three minutes left that someone just said something to you um, we won't go into the topic, but you gave me a, you gave me something before that we were talking about something that happened with your team and that specific person. I don't know if they were being tough with what was handling there. Someone didn't handle it probably properly, but you know, the toughness would be, here's at some, here's adversity, here's adversity again. How are you going to handle that? Yeah. Um, and not lose it both, you know, from flipping out or getting emotional. I mean, there's a whole scale of how people lose it. So I think the ability to deal with hardship and to cope with it is the, uh, as big a, I mean, I can almost teach teenage boys the physical part better than I can deal with the mental part and the dealing with the hardship and those physical difficult situations of, yes, you twisted your ankle. Yes, you're out for two weeks. You know, how are we going to deal with that more than go be physical, deal with the pad, at least on my end, I can, that is an easier sell for me. And I can turn that corner a lot faster than I can. The mental part, the toughness of steel kind of thing that you can handle both physically and mentally. Um, well, I we think have a trigger word we use in, in a game situation when maybe things get a little heated or in a pra in practice too. Right. And uh, it's something I'm going to emphasize this year. We didn't have, I mean, you don't have, we didn't have too many issues with it, but um, I can see based on the story that you and I shared, I talked about, uh, we might have it and it's, we call it dig. And I just yell out dig, which is dignity, integrity, and grace. And, uh, you know, if you don't agree with the ref's call when you start ar arguing with them, I don't want a player arguing with the ref, right? They can ask right. them a question. Right. I didn't understand that. Right. Um, or, 
you know, someone kind of, you know, they're start, I can see them lose their temper a little bit because someone did something to them in the game and I'll yell out dig, right? Just want to, it's a reset word, right? Mental, mentally. Um, not that I, I don't want them to lose that edge. I don't want them to get a foul, right? Right. Uh, really what it's about, right? Or do something that they're going to regret later. Um, so yeah, anyway, we have a we have no, a, but I think I think and, and this goes back to the conversation we were having again, too. I think part of our job is to teach them the proper ways to cope. That's so, right. You know, what what is yeah. and I think this is this would be a good preseason meeting thing that I was deep diving. We were talking I was talking to you about having our coaches retreat, and this is one of the yeah. topics we're gonna talk about is you know, how do we build the team part of it? How do we build leadership? How do we build toughness? Well, we have to we have to be the captain of the ship to explain like here's how you communicate with your teammates. Here's what toughness means. Here's what leadership means. Um, and then here's the definition that we've come up with. But then what does that look like? Because everybody goes, we want more leaders. We want tougher kids. Well, they don't know what that means. Like does tougher am i tough if i just dive on the floor well yeah you're tough in that aspect but i'm looking for the the entire tough person the one that wants to shoot the free throw down two with 30 seconds to go kind of thing i want the one that's going to step in and take the charge even though their ankle i mean so right. but then i got to teach them what what it looks like and that how they can get better at it you know what i'm saying yeah, no, 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 and that's a really good point where toughness is, you know, like you said, you're they're on the line shooting those free throws, one second left on the clock, you're down one, right? They have two free throws, and like, man, that's yeah, that's definitely so so, that's, that, so, so you toughness. can't just assume they're gonna be tough there, and you can't assume they're gonna be mentally ready for it. However, that's as right. the coach, and that's where we have to get them ready, like. Like that shot should not be the first time you've ever taken that shot in your head. That should be the thousandth yeah. time you've done that. You know, what are we going to like? So when we do our situational stuff and do those things in practice, that's where we're kind of deep diving into it. But again, we're, we're, we're going down a rabbit hole. That's yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Rabbit yeah. Hole. going back to your initial question. You know, what is toughness and can you teach it? Absolutely. I a hundred percent. I think you can. Um, what would a youth coach do if he has a situation though, where, Again, let's let's define toughness as taking a hit uh, yep. or, or giving a hit on a layup as an example. As an example I gave of uh, toughness as they're not diving for you or they're not diving for loose balls. Because um, the mental, I think the mental side is a, like you, you could get in a rabbit hole and a whole nother. Right. So I, so, so I think then as a youth coach, what you should do is you should come up with three tough things. Here are my three tough pillars. Tough, tough pillar one is you're going to step in and take a charge. Pillar two is I'm going to dive for the floor. Tough, maybe toughness three is when a teammate falls down, I go over and pick them up. Mm -hmm. That's not a necessarily a tough, but it's like, we're yeah. tough. We take care of yeah. each other, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I, I literally, those were the three. I just came off the top of my head, but you come up with your thing. Don't do more. The goes back to the rule of three offense. Right. Don't, don't do more than three because that's the way our brain works. Keep it simple. Three things. Yeah. So um, those three things. So pick three that you want to be your, because again, you're only seeing once or twice a week, but if you do those three and you talk about those three and you emphasize those three and you give them, a, uh, um, you give them, I don't know, uh, Gatorade every time they do one of them or a piece of candy or they get to start the next half or I don't know what it is. Give them some incentive too. They'll do it more. Trust me. You'll see it exponential. You'll see exponential growth on it. Yeah. Our three things, I mean, that's a really good point. Ours is taking a hit on a power layup, right? When you see a body in front of you, you're going off with two feet, get a pad. Yep. Um, or obviously when it's live, you're going to, you know, you're going to lean in a little bit and, and get to the line. Cause we also are looking, that's not really toughness. That's smart. We're trying to get, we're trying to be efficient scorers there too, right? Get your two and your end one in one right. position, get three points. Um, our other one is uh, diving for loose balls. We have a hustle drill that combines um, diving for loose balls and 
taking a charge. So those are our three. So diving for loose balls and getting in position to take a charge, right? So um, that's a really good point. I didn't think about it. I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's like categorize those th three things as your toughness. That's what you're going to emphasize. Um, it, and that's what it, you're looking for. Te teaching 101, like if that's you want right. them to do something, like, like <laughs> talk about sidetrack. Like I teach AP stats. I want them, I teach seniors. I want them there on time. So I have to teach them what it means to be on time. Literally, like, you know, it's a bell-shaped curve for any of those are stats people. They There's a few students that arrive early. Most students arrive in the middle and there's always a few students that arrive late. Always, every year, 34 years of teaching, it's consistent. So I don't have to deal with the early ones. I don't have to deal with, I deal with four students in basically every class. And then I'm going to teach them. Here's what you have to do. Here's what's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. Let me help you. Like, so I think that's, that's the important thing with toughness. It's like, it's like leadership and toughness are these words that just drive me bonkers because you see them all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, what, what does that mean to you? Know, that's why is, I asked you the definition of it. What is toughness? Like toughness yeah. for some teams might be that everyone comes to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's like it, toughness can be different things that, you know, we don't let, get, we don't let getting down by 30 affect us. Yeah. Cause maybe you're a team that's a third grade team that's playing in a fifth grade league. Well, we're going to be tough and we're not going to let being down 20 bother us or whatever. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Again, I'm just throwing, I no, that's not say that's a really that's that's a really good that's a really good point too. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and I think you're right. I mean, to emphasize that again at this coach's clinic, I gave them words to get rid of. Take a great shot. Uh like what the hell what don't the do that. Do like, what do you mean don't do that? Like yeah. yeah, it's the teacher in me. It's just oh, I could yeah. You and I are going to, we'll write a book. We'll write a book on all this. Stuff. Don't, don't <laughs> do that. That's going to be the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> Youth coaches, don't do that. There you go. <laughs> do this. Now that would be too long of a title. Anyway. All right. Anything else, coach? That's it. I hope coaches, you got something out. So the big takeaway was list what you want to be tough at and whatever you put an emphasis on, the kids will do. So taking if taking charges is meaning tough, uh, then that's what you do. If it's uh, going after loose balls every time and you reward them for that, um, if it's rebounding, right, out rebounding the team, another team, if that's what your definition, but come up with those three things. Don't just say be tough. I want you to be tough. Define it for them clearly. Is that a good. Summary? I love that. Okay, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Bill kudos there from a longtime teacher. He did exactly what you should do in your youth practice too. He had practice and then he circled back before the bell rang to remind the students, the players, you, the listeners, what we talked about. So as a youth coach, he just did exactly what you should do as an educator. Circle back. So at the end, come together, have a little group. We haven't talked about this, but have a little group and circle back. What do we do? What do we have fun doing today? What would you change? What? It doesn't matter if it's fourth graders. They will love that. Trust me. Yeah. I've done it multiple times. All right. Till next week. All right. Till next week, coach. Hey, coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, and go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.